If you shoot a mojo, it's two hundred dollars. They taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can drive five minutes and be in the blind. And there's not many places you can do that. Yeah. Where are we? Okay. We're on the eastern end of Long Island in Bridgehampton. This area out here has been a known waterfowling area since the 16, 1700s. The bay that's out here used to be a, one of the biggest oyster producing areas on the East Coast. Now it's the home of the rich and famous, and not so famous. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that right side. There was a uh, an old Irish guy that used to shoot with my father and um, and me in his pond about three miles from here. And he always asked me, he says, so what are you going to do when you graduate high school? And I go, I don't know. You go to college? I said, no, nah, I don't think so. He goes, well, why don't you, why don't you take people hunting? You're good at it. You call really good. He said, why don't you do that? And um, I said, oh, there's too much money involved. I said, I got to buy a boat and have a blind and more decoys. It's like $1,000 worth of stuff. Then I got to put an ad in a magazine. That costs money. So this dude says to me, look, I'll buy the boat and the decoys. You just take me hunting. So I said, okay. So he bought me a boat. He bought me some decoys. And I took him hunting a few times. And I put an ad in uh, Field and Stream magazine for $70. It was so much money I couldn't afford more than one issue. <laughs> that was in the probably late 70s. With COVID this year, fucking busy, dude. A lot of guys want to go hunting. I mean, I, I it's it's strange because it'll get to be a Sunday and I go, ah, I got nothing to do for a few days and a phone rings on Sunday, somebody wants to go Tuesday. Then Monday, somebody else calls, wants to go Thursday. And then 